So, dear guests, ladies and gentlemen, welcome you to all of you to COSTEG. And it's my sweet obligation uh, to have a presentation on behalf of the Craft Center. And the name of my presentation is not a coincidence. You may realize the parallelity to the um, theme of the uh, Craft Conference uh, this year. So the theme of my presentation is a craft index from the viewpoint of creative cooperation and sustainable development. And uh, as Lajos has said, the long-term viability and the livability of the cities will be on the focus point of my presentation. During the conference, we have heard uh, many in interesting um, yeah, thank you. We have uh, heard many interesting um, presentation concerning the why it's important in today's globalized uh, world, the importance of cities. And uh, from Professor Neva, we have uh, um, received very important thoughts. What is important to look at the city, not just from its uh, built environment, from, from very viable and more complex uh, system of people's living. So the other line of my presentation, at first I would like to say something about the craft concept, how it has been um, started in this um, region, and then I would like to outline the research uh, process, and then I will introduce the structure of the craft index, I would like to um, give a short introduction of the craft index from the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, from which we have heard about uh, today. And uh, lastly, I would like to highlight some results from our on-site survey in West Brim City area. Um, well. It will, it will be work, I, I hope. <laughs> yeah, I need, I need more craft. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, I'd rather manage this kind of technical issues, but, well, I hope. Thing isn't working. Uh, so we have to. Well, okay. Um, sorry. So the creative city sustainable region concept is a new kind of regional development concept which is based on an integrated framework I will talk about later because it considers particular and common interests of the main stakeholders of, the, of an urban area. It's a complex and in-depth understanding of long-term and medium-term uh, development objectives. As I have uh, mentioned, the craft index focuses on the long-term viability in a long horizon uh, of the uh, urban settlements. And it's an initiative uh, towards social, economic, and ecological sustainability, as we see in the importance of the emerging uh, concept of urban sustainability and regional sustainability nowadays. The advantages of the CREST concept that it's a new concept of regional development, I will highlight the main characteristics from which we can distinguish its importance from uh, current uh, urban regional development uh, frameworks. It's a practice-oriented approach based on a theoretical background. It's integration of different views and approaches of the main stakeholders of urban regions. And uh, it aims measuring creat creativity at individual, organizational, and regional level. Uh, during the research work, uh, we have worked in a transdisciplinary uh, group, and uh, we assume that uh, um, 
uh, really a core issue of our um, system of indicators which we have um, uh, defined is the uh, sense of transdisciplinarity and sustainability. Oh. Okay. One of the basic main principles of the um, craft index, as I have mentioned, that uh, we would like to have the different views of the main stakeholders, is that we have uh, to combine the knowledge of universities, research institutes, the, the interest of government and municipality, and uh, business. Uh, because if we want to consider on the long-term um, perspectives of the um, city regions, uh, the common understanding of the goals which have been set in order to ensure long-term viability must be on the common shared views of uh, these uh, institutions. Quite tricky. Um, sorry. So, um, during the development of the ther theoretical framework, at first we defined the potentials to be measured, which we are resembles to the cases you have mentioned in. Um, in the beginning of the session, and uh, we have defined the structure, objectives, and indicators. Uh, Upon uh, we can measure these uh, areas. So the craft index uh, summarizes the opportunities of a settlement and its region without the limitation of administrative borders. And uh, in definition uh, of the system of the indicators upon, we would like to measure on the long-term viability of regions. We pointed out three main areas of potentials we take into consideration in order to, to uh, define the appropriate set of indicators. Uh, these uh, areas are the creativity and the innovation potential, the social capital and network potential, and the sustainability uh, potential. We have defined eight uh, themes or eight areas of intervention upon uh, we um, set the indicators. The first one is the economic development, the second one is the governance, then social vitality, health, culture, natural and built environment, networks and education and learning. And uh, based upon that um, eight main areas, you may comprehend that the uh, complexity of the craft uh, indicator system resembles the complexity of a city region. Uh, upon the eight uh, intervention areas, we have defined hard indicators and soft indicators, uh, which are good um, measures for describing the potentials uh, of these eight areas. Uh, next. Upon the structure, we have, def uh, we have designed the data collection methods uh, and uh, we have done empirical research uh, upon a questionnaire, data sheet uh, at the local municipalities and uh, interview with the relevant uh, stakeholders of the um, city. <laughs> So uh, the sources of the hard indicators are um, publicly available uh, data sources. Uh, these are data from the Hungarian Central Statistical Office, National Health Insurance Office, and regional uh, databases. Uh, for assessing the soft indicator, we have uh, designed a questionnaire, um, which is used for data collection from local residents and uh, we have uh, designed an interview sheet with the mayor and an interview sheet with the representatives of the local economy. And now let's see the uh, results of the empirical studies in numbers. 
uh, we have a questionnaire in West Prem uh, from 1,200 uh, inhabitants. And you may know that uh, West Prem is about uh, 56,000 uh, inhabitants, so it's a quite relevant uh, sample. We have an interview with the mayor to uh, small and medium-sized uh, enterprises to life-sized company and uh, two entrepreneurs, and we have also interviewed the chairman uh, of the industry and Com Chamber of Industry and Commerce and the chairman of the Association of Entrepreneurs. So, some thoughts why it's a special survey on Hungarian scale. So our aim was at identifying and collecting opinions and attitudes on local residents upon the eight areas of intervention you have comprehended. The questionnaire covered 65 questions, mainly closed, and it take 50, 60 minutes to fill in. So it was essential to have such a communication campaign to raise the awareness of the residents uh, to feel committed to fill out that questionnaire. And uh, we were really surprised that it was a really success story. 1,200 full questionnaires has been filled. So we were really uh, proud and uh, enthusiastic about it. So the preliminary communication and awareness raising is really important. And one more uh, comment about the sample. It's a uh, representative by age, gender, uh, and district. And uh, the sample, uh, so the uh, filling out the questionnaire was done by computer assisted personal interviewing uh, met method uh, in, um, implemented by an <coughs> enterprise, um, um, a specialized enterprise, actually. And now uh, I would like to give you more detail about the structure of the craft index. Uh, in this chart, you can realize the eight uh, areas of intervention that I have mentioned. And uh, concerning the content of these areas of interventions, we have defined those factors uh, which are relevant uh, in all uh, categories. We try to, or we aim to assess the attitude and satisfaction level uh, of the residents on these areas. We also try to measure the potentials uh, in these areas about how the residents could develop uh, themselves um, in the future. And also we have collected information of the local government concerning the different uh, financial um, supports uh, given to uh, these um, aims. And, uh, after uh, we have elaborated the uh, a project, uh, we have assessed uh, the structure of uh, our index with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, and uh, it was not a surprise that uh, we have really many common uh, points uh, with the aim structure of the uh, 2030 agenda, but uh, uh, of course, um, our structure resembles with the AIM-11 sustainable cities and communities uh, at most. And uh, finally, I would like to um, highlight some results uh, of the um, questionnaire. You have heard about uh, why it's a really special um, sample and uh, very uh, interesting result. And then I would like to give some uh, more details and impressions about it. Uh, one uh, main intervention area was the natural and built environment. And uh, as I have mentioned, we tried to measure the satisfaction of the residents uh, with the natural and built uh, environment. And uh, we have found that on a one and fourth uh, scale, how the, the people in West Prem are uh, satisfied with the different uh, issues with the cleanliness of the settlement, the noise level, ground and groundwater status, state of the natural waters, and urban air quality. 
Uh, another very important uh, issue you have mentioned that is relevant uh, in the uh, livability of uh, urban system uh, was trust and confidence. And we have assessed that how the level of the confidence in local regional institutions uh, are in uh, West Prim. Uh, we have seen that uh, there are outstanding performances. Uh, for instance, the disaster management primary schools, high school, and uh, higher education too. And uh, we can see that uh, the health service providers received less uh, good uh, grades for this um, evaluation. We were really curious about it uh, because uh, for most of the cities in Hungary, the population retention is the greatest challenge. So we have um, posed a question concerning um, in the social vitality basket that what are the long-term prospects of the inhabitants in the uh, city? And we have found that 89% of the population has long-term uh, prospects. So it's really an uh, outstanding uh, result and we can assess it in Hungary and I can uh, believe we will um, find really different uh, outcomes. Uh, well, uh, we have analyzed the motivations uh, for um, uh, migration. Um, uh, many people want, so the the remaining 11% uh, and the biggest part wants to uh, change uh, the settlement because in the hope of uh, better job opportunities or uh, in the hope of better living uh, conditions. Uh, we have assessed the uh, cultural patterns of the cities and uh, you can uh, see that uh, we, uh, in the index we use uh, also indicators uh, from Central Statistical uh, Office database. So the percent of the population read books at least five times a year um, indicator comes from the uh, questionnaire. It's 16.75 percent. It's not that good. Uh, and while we have the number of cultural institutions per uh, thousand inhabitants, and uh, the uh, average satisfaction with the local cultural surprise is always, uh, um, well, it's, it's also a um, really good result on a one, po one four point scale. Uh, we have assessed the health service uh, factor. Uh, you may uh, um, remember that it wasn't uh, that good, the satisfaction with the healthcare system. And while um, in Hungary we have that, that uh, good um, indicators concerning our health uh, system, unfortunately. And finally, uh, we have uh, tested some correlations that uh, we have combined different measures of the uh, eight uh, areas, and we have found um, um, interesting uh, relations. Most of them are um, less strong and weaker relations. We didn't have a really strong, uh, outstanding um, um, correlation level, but some um, um, findings are really interesting. Uh, for instance, uh, concerning the degree of involvement into the public affairs of the settlement, uh, participation at public forums or events uh, are in quite um, uh, in a relationship with that the resident regularly gathers information about the status of the environmental status uh, of his or her uh, surrounding. It was surprising that uh, the extent uh, to the resident is happy is not in a strong um, relation with uh, his or her health uh, status. And uh, we have uh, seen that uh, in case of West Frame, the local cultural uh, lifestyle and sports events are really uh, important. We have tested the correlation between the satisfaction with local music events and attachment to the city, also with the satisfaction with sports events. And we didn't find that uh, strong relationships. Uh, that was um, interesting uh, for us. Uh, so uh, next steps. Uh, we would like to test the um, system of indicators um, in a new uh, region. 
um, and uh, we have to move further on how to develop an index, um, a system of numbers or a system of uh, uh, composite indicators for a comparison uh, bit among different uh, city regions or for inner use. And um, I have um, um, uh, that's um, really um, rather special um, um, example we have, so uh, I have emphasized this important, and uh, our next text, uh, test area will be a uh, little bit uh, um, less large sediment, but it's um, region too. So thank you for your attention, and uh, hope uh, you will find uh, interesting results of our um, index in the uh, scientific literature soon. Thank you.